All right, now let's move on to the second part of our main section. First of all, let's take a look at our Figma design. Here you can see we have this text and button on the left side and an image on the right side. So we're going to create this part of our main section. Here we have uh, one image file. Uh, you can use any kind of image you want um, that this is the image I want to put um, on this part of our main section. Okay, so let me close this first. And here we need to first uh, bring our assets inside our assets folder. As you can see here, I don't have an assets folder yet. So I'm going to create that folder or directory. So let's create the uh, the assets folder just like this. I'm, I'm creating it uh, inside the root of my project. Okay, as you can see here. Now I need to bring my uh, image file inside this folder. Okay, so I already have that. Let me check it. Okay, here. I already have it. I can just drag it and drop it inside this assets folder. You can see this uh, avatar image, flutter avatar image. So let me close it. And now we need to specify a path to that file in our pubspec YAML. Just open the pubspec YAML file. And then you just here we have this uh, assets section. Okay. And here uh, we can specify a path to that file. So basically what I want to do, I don't want to specify a path to that specific file, but I want to specify the assets folder path. And I will just put that slash. This means everything inside this, uh, every file inside this assets folder uh, will be available whenever we want to use it inside of a project. Okay, so assets and anything or everything inside it. And I want to save it. Okay, now we have saved it. Uh, just make sure you, you have uh, the names match here, assets and this assets, okay? Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work. Okay, let's close this popspec YAML file and let's close the sidebar as well. Here, let's start creating our widgets. First of all, I want to create a container, uh, not with a capital, uh, container. And inside this container, um, I want to give this a child property. And for the child property, let's give this a row, okay? Because uh, we have uh, two parts to that section, okay? Basically, kind of side by side, all right? Now, uh, the first part was text. Mm, let's put that text mm, for the text. Uh, I already have the text here. Let me kind of copy it and paste it over there, okay? So just like that, I put it right there. And then th this text uh, ha should have a button right below it, all right? So for that, we need to wrap this with a column. So let's wrap it with column because we want to uh, put another widget right below the text, okay? So for that one, uh, for this text, uh, we want to, uh, not for this text, but for the button, we want to use uh, an elevated button, okay? Elevated button. Mm. And for the on pressed, right now it's just an empty method. And for the child, uh, we will give this text. And for the text, the text should be get in touch. Okay, this is the text. So let's make this const as well, just like that. All right, now let's put some commas here so that we have kind of proper styling or proper intent indentation. So this is the column, this is the text and button part, as you can see here. And right below this, we are inside our row widget, as you can see, this is the children of it and here, and just right below it, I want to uh, give this uh, an image, okay? Image.asset, because we are kind of uh, showing an image from our assets. So for that, I will, I need to specify uh, the whole uh, the, the, the whole path to that file that is assets slash and my flutter image no not image but avatar okay that was avatar dot png all right so for now this is it so actually now if i save it it's not going to show the image 
uh, here because we need to kind of when we are building an application uh, on uh, using Flutter web, uh, we need to kind of close or uh, stop the application, running application, and re restart it again when we want to add new assets. Okay, because it's not going to kind of uh, bring the newly added assets. Uh, while we are kind of debugging or while we are kind of running in debug mode. Let's close it. And now let's rerun it again. So I'm going to uh, press Command, Shift and F5. That's on Mac. Okay, it's going to kind of run the application. Or you can just come right here in the main.dart and there uh, you can tap on this uh, run without debugging icon so it's going to start the application as well okay okay now our flutter application is up running so let's go to our uh, home page so here as you can see uh, it should show the page right now all right now you can see we have some issues uh, because of the image being too big so let's first of all fix that okay so for it Instead of giving this image a specific size, let's make it dynamic. So for it, I can just give a width and I'm going to use a screen width we have up here, screen uh, width, and I'm going to uh, set the size to the screen size divided by two. Okay, basically half of the screen width. So let's save it now. Okay, you can see we have uh, an image that's kind of smaller, much smaller, and it, it fits here and there is no issue, overflow issue. So we have some text issue, so we need to align stuff and we need to uh, set some margin around this and stuff like that. So first of all, let's start by giving this container a margin. So for that, I can give this a margin and I'm going to uh, give a edge insets symmetric and let's give this a horizontal. So 20 should be good. So let's make this const and let's give this container height and constraints as well, okay? So for the height, I want to use a screen height. So basically screen size, height. I'm going to set this to the screen height, but, but divided by 1.2. So that's that and Another issue we might have is when user kind of makes uh, the browser height smaller, just like this, shrinking the browser height like this might have some issues. Uh, what is it? Minimum height as well. Okay, so let's give this constraints. For the constraints, uh, we are going to use just a min height. Okay, for the min height, uh, 350 should be good enough. So that's it. Now it's not going to affect right now, but it's just avoiding a potential issue, overflow issue we might have, okay? Now, uh, when I save it, okay, you can see we have this, uh, an image here and we have some space. So we need to kind of align uh, things a little bit, okay? So first of all, to align everything at the center, uh, we need to give some, uh, we need to set an alignment of this row. So for it, let's set the main uh, axis alignment first. And for that main axis alignment, not center, basically, uh, actually we need to give this space evenly because we want to put it kind of, we need, we need to put this uh, one side around here and the other side around here. So regardless of uh, the screen width. Okay, let's save it. Okay, you can see it's right here and that one is uh, right there. All right, now what we want to do is um, to give some alignment to this one as well, to text and button as well, because uh, it's, it's kind of now at the top, okay? We don't want that. So for it, we can just give this main axis alignment as well. So for the main axis alignment, we will give this center. Okay, if we make it center and if we save it, now we have our text and button kind of align it with the image right here. All right, now uh, let's actually style our text a little bit so that it, it, it has kind of a bigger font size and some little bit bolder. 
So for it, we can use a style property of text and we'll use text style just like that. And first one that will be font size. For the font size, I'll set this to 30 because I want this to be kind of uh, as big as possible. Uh, and then uh, let's give this font weight as well. Okay, for the font weight, I want to make the font weight of bold. Okay, and the color is already white, but instead of using a flutters um, default white, we want to use our own custom white. Okay, that's why I want to use the color and custom call, not, not that. I custom color, not BG white, BG light, but uh, white primary. Well, they have that color. So now what we can do, we can make this const. Okay, let's save it and see how it looks. Okay, now you can see we have a kind of big text. Mm, that's good. And the next one, we need to give this some text height as well because kind of it's small space. So for it, let's give this height and for the height, I want to make this 1.5. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I think it looks better now. And now we need some spacing uh, below the text as well. So for it, we can just use a size box, size box. And for the height, let's give uh, this 15. Okay, and let's make this a const. And let's save it and see how it looks. Okay, this looks better. And now the next one is I want to give uh, this button some uh, some width as well. Okay, now because it's kind of small. So let's wrap this elevated button with a size box. And for the size box, I want to give this a width. And for the width, let's make this. 200 and let's see how it looks oh i think uh, it's a little bit smaller let's let's check let's make this 250 and see how it looks i think yeah 250 is good so it's kind of aligned with the text so that's good now and now let's actually try to see how it looks okay to check how it looks think it's better now all right now we have a nice looking uh, main section for the desktop version let's actually clean up our code a little bit so instead of putting all of this uh, code right here I want to put it inside its own file and basically making a custom widget in another file so let's actually take this let's grab this just from the bottom part of it or from the end of it and let's select it and I want to cut this or copy and remove it. And then I'll open here, open the sidebar and inside this widgets folder, I'll create a new file and the name of the file will be uh, main desktop. Okay, let's try that. So main desktop dot dart. All right, now in, inside this main desktop, let's create a stateless widget. So the name of the widget will be main desktop, as you might have guessed it. And we can kind of paste all of our code right here. And then, as you can see, we have a few errors, uh, basically screen width, we don't have that. So, and the color as well. Let's kind of import our custom colors and we need to bring our screen uh, size. Basically, we have it right here. We can copy it from there, okay? Just like that. Let's copy it and then let's come to our main desktop file and put it right there. All right, now we have that, mm, as you can see, just like that. And we can copy paste it and make this screen height. Instead of that, let's make this height and we can replace our, where is that? Our screen width not screen width, but where is that screen height with that screen height to make everything kind of consistent. All right, now we need to grab our widget and put it right here. Okay, 
so basically we can import it once we import it as you can see we have our main desktop let's make this const and let's save it now you can see we have our uh, main section uh, that is just like before all right